almost robotic looking. <laughs> they let you know, this is one of them right here. That I'm a fuchsia with blue pearl. How many times can I say that? But I love it. Welcome back. So I've got a fun video for you today. So y'all know that metallic lips are in. They're a trend. They're definitely the thing right now. And it's kind of funny because they've been around in the drugstore for a very long time. They never really went away and they were either called like pearl or frost, but now they can fall under that category of metallic. So I've gathered some together here for you. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you lip swatches on my favorites. So I have about eight to 10 that I'm gonna show you on my lips and then I have a bunch of other options as well. So, you know, if it's one of those trends that you kinda wanna like participate in, but maybe you don't wanna spend $30 on a frosty pink lipstick, but maybe you're okay with spending five or a dollar. Some of these that I have to show you are a dollar or 99 cents or 93 cents or whatever. So I've got some really affordable options here for you so that you can kind of like participate in that trend, but not be out a lot of money. And I think they're really fun. So let's jump into it. All right, we're going to start with lip swatches of my favorites. So first is Milani's Pink Frost. And I remember when this one came out, like when they released a bunch of new colors, and I avoided it because I was like, no, that's going to be frosty. And I wouldn't have liked it then but I'm loving it now. I mean, it is ridiculously metallic. I mean, it's like almost robotic looking, <laughs> but just so fun. I mean, you can bring in a lip liner with this. You can bring in just a regular pink cream lipstick with this and make it more like normal looking rather than so metallic. But if you're looking for metallic, this is a great option and around $5. If you're looking for metallic lip glosses, these Wet n Wild Mega Slicks lip glosses would be a great option in the drugstore because it seems like quite a few of the shades seem to have that kind of frosty metallic finish to them and they're like two or three dollars. They're super duper affordable and they're comfortable. Like I think they're nice glosses. So this one is in the shade Sinless. This is one of my very favorites from the ones that I have. This is really close to Pink Frost, except it's a little bit more cool toned and purpley, but they're pretty close. And of course it's a gloss versus a lipstick, but really, really beautiful. You know, if you're wanting to get into the metallic lip trend, but you're a little bit afraid, gloss is a great way to go. Cause you could just dab a little bit in the middle part of your lips just for that little bit of metallic sheen. So you're dipping your toe into the metallic trend, but you're not going full on into it. So it's not quite as scary, you know what I mean? So these are really nice options. I kind of want to go like check out some other shades. Now that I'm in this metallic thing, I bet they have a lot more options. So these are ones to check out. This is what I was wearing in the intro of this video. This is the NYC Expert Last Lip Color, and this is in the shade Snow Cone. There are quite a few metallic shades in this line. These are a little bit harder for me to find recently. Like I feel like there's only a couple of Walmarts that still have these, but I really like them. They're around $2, I think. And I love this color. Snow Cone, just a really beautiful, kind of mid-tone pink. And I feel like these are nice because they can be built up. So you can kind of do like a light layer of them or you can build them up for a more kind of opaque, intense sort of a look. But it's still slightly more wearable because it's kind of that mid-tone pink. This one's just a little bit deeper than the one I just showed you. This is a, another one of those NYC Expert Last lip colors. This is in the shade Flirty. So it's right there on the end. Just a really beautiful, mid-tone kind of a pink, but it's got just a little bit more fuchsia magenta to it. Really pretty, maybe slightly more wearable. Maybe not, I don't know. I feel like those kind of like mid-tone and fuchsia pinks with the shift have kind of never really gone away. You know what I mean? Like that kind of where they have like almost a blue shift to them. This one's less blue, but one I'm about to show you has more of a blue shift. I feel like those have kind of always been around and never really went away and I've always loved them. So this one's going towards that, but not quite as blue. We're gonna get into blue in just a second, but still really pretty. I love this one because it's like a neutral, but it has a strong gold shift to it. So it just is really beautiful and dimensional. And this one is like 93 cents from Walmart. This is one of the, I don't know what these are called. It's the Wet n Wild something lipsticks. <laughs> 
the 99 cent lipsticks from Wet n Wild, whatever they're called. But this one is in Dark Pink Frost 530D. I'll link it for you down below, but just really, really pretty. I just love the golden shift to it. And it almost looks like it has like a purpley, mauve and then gold shift to it. So pretty. I love that one. Really, really beautiful and just very unique and so affordable. This one's one of those magentas with that blue shift to it that I was telling you about. Again, one of those wet and wild 99 cent, 93 cent ish sort of lipsticks. This is in the shade 527B Fuchsia with Blue Pearl. <laughs> so you can really tell if you're looking for that Fuchsia with Blue Pearl, they let you know this is one of them right here that I'm a Fuchsia with Blue Pearl. And it totally is. It's a really pretty, just fuchsia, magenta, sort of a pink, like a almost, well, it's not really raspberry because it doesn't have a ton of red in it, but it's just got that blue shift to it. I love this. One of my very favorites. It's beautiful. This, I feel like, is the most common sort of metallic color you can find in a lot of different brands. So my thought is, if you want to try it, get it for 99 cents, get it for around a dollar, and then you can try it because they're all really similar and this is a beautiful one and a really comfortable formula. These are nice lipsticks. If you're looking for a red with a shift to it, this is another one of those Wet n Wild lipsticks. This is 539A Cherry Frost and it's a beautiful like retro red, but it has like a golden shift to it. It's really pretty. Now the metallic sheen on this one I feel like is a little bit more subdued, but it's still there. Like when you turn your face, it just, your lips kind of catch the light. Really pretty. I think this would be a really nice holiday red. Love it. Or if you're just liking red and you want to wear a fun, bright, metallic-y sort of a red, this is a great option. Last one of my favorites I have to show you. So if you're like me and you were really tempted by that Dose of Colors liquid lipstick trio, the metallic one that was so pretty, I feel like this looks really close to what one of those look like. Now I didn't buy it, so I can't compare it for you, but there it is. This is Maybelline's Chilled Brandy, and it is a beautiful, like burgundy. Oh my gosh. And it's got like this kind of golden rose gold sort of a shift to it. It's amazing. I feel like this is one of the best metallic lip colors in the drugstore. It's just gorgeous. It is absolutely gorgeous. How many times can I say that? But I love it. It is just, it looks so much like the pictures of what the one from that trio look like. So I don't know if you have that, let me know if you think they look close. But to me, from remembering the pictures, it looks like it would have gone with it. At a minimum, if it's not a dupe for one of those, it looks like it could have gone with the trio and matched really well. Love this one. Okay, I zoomed in a little bit for some other options at the drugstore. So I still really like these, but they're just not like my top, top favorites, but still really pretty. This first one is one of the Rimmel Lasting Finish Lipsticks. This is in the shade Candy. This is a really pretty light pink. Love that one, great for layering. This is one of the NYC Twistable Inten Intense Lip Colors. This is in Parsons Pink. It's almost like a neutral sort of a metallic pink. Really pretty. Another one of those Wet n Wild lipsticks. This is 504A Pink Ice. So that's kind of like a nice warm pink. Love that one. Then we've got one of the Milani lipsticks. This is in Raspberry Rush. Still that sort of like fuchsia, but it seems like it's got just a little bit more red in it. Just barely. I mean, it's more of that raspberry kind of fuchsia with the shift, but still really beautiful. Okay, this is gonna be laughable because I had to swatch on my right hand, so I'm gonna be holding up the lipsticks with my left, and I'm ridiculously right-handed, but I ran out of space. So anyway, over here, this one is Revlon's Wild Orchid. So pretty much any of the pearls in the, where is it? <laughs> We're starting off well. Um, so any of the pearls in the Revlon line would have that kind of metallic sheen to it, but Wild Orchid is that really pretty sort of fuchsia again. This one is uh, Milani's Violet Volt. That's a really pretty metallic violet right there. Then we've got, this is a, it's called Bitsy, and this is from Sally's. These are really affordable. I think like $1.50 or something. This is in Happy Hour. 
it's a really pretty kind of like, where is it? Corally red, like a corally red, gorgeous. This one is another one of the Revlon pearls. This is wine with everything. This is a really nice holiday red. I've mentioned this in favorites before, like around that time. It's just a really beautiful holiday sort of red. And then this kind of browny color, if you're looking for a brown, this is Revlon's Caramel Glossé. So that's a really pretty, kind of a chocolatey, light chocolatey brown with that metallic sheen. All right guys, so that wraps up this video. So I hope that you really enjoyed it. I really enjoyed gathering all these together. I think this is a really fun trend, so I think it's neat to be able to find those sort of options in the drugstore to be able to participate in a trend but at an affordable price. So hope that you really enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. Let me know down below what some of your favorites were that I showed or if you have other favorites from the drugstore that I did not mention. Please let me know because I would love to check them out. Ask me any questions that you have. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!